the time has come. We've got a skill rebalancing. I have not looked at it yet. And I will not waste any time. I'll jump straight in. Let's see what we've got. Skill rebalancing. Uh, reasons for skill rebalancing. Clearing acceleration. Gateway. Yo, we got the Time Lord skill. Let's go. Okay, these are good. Chronomaly is a pretty nice one. And uh, clear wing is acceptable because no one plays speedroids now, which is kind of a shame. I quite like speedroids. Raging Pendulum gets a harder active. It should have gotten a, a, a nerf a very long time ago. Okay, let's see what they uh, actually did for those skills. Clear wing acceleration. Let's see what the before skill does. Each of the following effects can be used once for a duel. You cannot normal summon or spell summon any monsters except for synchros and wind dragon type machine types. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it's the same for the, the restriction. If you control clear wing, you play a red eyed dice from your deck or graveyard to your field. If you control, uh, yeah, that's the same. And then return a card from your hand to your deck and then send a speed roid red eye dice or a synchro monster. Okay, so you don't have to return any cards. So it's not as good as the old version of the skill. You still can only send the red eye dice instead of sending anything. But uh, that is a pretty good change. So uh, not being not needing to return a card is reasonable. And uh, it still won't be as good as it was before because you can't send Daiko Duke, which is a lot better than sending your red eye dice. So yeah, nice change. Let's go. Uh, before you can send one monster for an extra deck to graveyard and change your levels to that monster. And then um, if you send a monster from your deck, you can all, must also send a monster from your graveyard to your from your hand. Uh, send one monster. Change. Okay, that's the same. Okay, it's the restriction that's a bit different. The skill can only be used once per turn. If you begin. The duel. Oh, okay. You don't have to play twelve Chronomaly monsters. You can just play. You can you can play any number of Chronomaly monsters as long as you don't play anything else. That's that's pretty good. That's a nice change. Twelve always feels uh, a bit much. Back then, when I was playing uh, Chronobolies, uh, yeah, twelve cards is a bit much, especially because the deck does have quite a bit of one card combos. Um, the Tuspa Rocket and uh, the, uh, the the Never Disc, the, the one with the smiley face. Yeah, that one has a uh, uh, one card combo utilities. So it's nice that we don't have to play that many monsters, and we can actually have more space for good generic staples, which really helps the deck. So um, yeah, nice change. And then the Time Lord skill. I don't have to read it before. I know exactly what that does. I've I've been playing Time Lords. Ever since release, uh, every time in late season when I am going to pick a, a deck to rush to King of Games, I usually choose Time Lords because uh, in late season people don't, usually don't have an out to Infinite Light, so just turboing out Infinite Light with draw spells and uh, part of duality usually just wins you the game on its own. So uh, yeah, let's see what the skill does now. Each of the can be used with the You send a card from hand to graveyard, and it's an empty machine. And then uh, can be used after one of them is removed from a field by our opponent. Ah, okay. I think I know what the change is. So, uh, the old skill needs you to uh, use the second effect right after the turn the trap is sent. But uh, from what I'm seeing, I think that you can just use the second effect whenever you want, as long as the trap got removed at any point in within the game. So you, even if you don't activate it immediately, yeah, it says during your next turn, it doesn't have to be in your next turn. That's actually pretty good. Uh, uh, a big problem with me playing Time Lords, just from my experience, is uh, if your opponent Cosmic Cyclones or Nightmare Unicorns or whatever gets rid of your uh, trap and then uh, in your next turn you don't have Cephalon in your hand, you're kind of screwed because you don't have any more plays basically. 
But uh, this skill, this change allows two things to happen. The first is that even if you don't have Cephalon in your hand, you can still wait until you draw it and then you use it. So uh, you could have a lot more opportunities to have a, a comeback. And the second thing is that you can use it immediately. So uh, if you flip up uh, an empty machine, for example, and your opponent immediately pops it with, uh, uh, banish it with Cosmic Cyclone or something, you can just immediately reveal your Cephalon in your hand and just go for an OTK. So that's also very good. It's a small change, but a welcome one, for sure. And uh, I think the, the restriction is exactly the same, right? Uh, of more than half of monsters. And has no other monsters than Time Lords and... Yeah, it's the same. It is the exact same. It just, uh, I think the wording is a bit different, you know, com com comprised, but uh, I believe the effect is still exactly the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, pretty nice change. Okay, let's look at Raging Pendulum. At the beginning of the duel, add Pendulum Zones in your field. And then, uh, this skill can be used for the duel by revealing a uh, uh, Raging Dragon and Exceeds Dragon from an extra deck, if you have two, or blah blah blah, and then you add Pendulum Dragon and one uh, Magician Pendulum Monster from your hand or deck to the extra deck. Yep. Wait, uh, huh? What, what? What's the difference? What's the difference? Ah, okay, you don't add... You don't add the random card. So, uh, the old skill gives you a free level 4, but this new version does not. That's interesting. So, instead of making the skill harder to use, they just nerfed the effect. So, it's just not that good. It's not as good as what it was before. It says this skill is given a harder activation condition, that's just not true, they're just lying. <laughs> the activation condition is exactly the same, you don't need any sort of uh, restriction when you build your deck. You just get one less card from the from the skill. So they're just straight up lying. Right? Am I missing am I missing anything? Yeah, they this the skill still doesn't have any restrictions. So, I guess they are just straight up lying in the, in the notification. But, well, I mean, that aside, this is kind of a nerf. It's not that big of a nerf that uh, I was expecting, because, you know, you still get your free scale, uh, you still get your free odd eyes and uh, magician in your extra deck, and that's what matters. And also you get you get to play whatever you want in the main deck as long as uh you have your raging dragon and xyz dragon in your extra deck so yeah kind of a weird change but i guess it's still a nerf and uh i don't think a lot of people are playing raging pendulums anymore ever since you know they got nerfed to oblivion and uh yeah Mm, pretty weird, but I do think that the, the free buffs are pretty good, especially the Chronomaly one, because uh, Chronomaly's always had potential, I think. The deck always had uh, the potential to be a competitive, viable uh, back row deck, because of the one card combos and uh, strong Xyz monsters that they have, but it's always hindered by the fact that uh, the skill forces you to play a lot more monsters than you probably would play otherwise. So yeah, I do like the skill rebalancing overall, I just think the Raging Pendulum is a bit weird, they just straight up lied. But yeah, I guess. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.